Today we're at a very interesting house in Ginza, Tokyo. This place is $1.5 million. It's a three-story house and 150 square meters. Let's go take a look. So this is a very unique house in Tokyo. As you can see, this is a very modern and minimalistic design. You see a lot of modern amenities, very uniquely designed because of all these windows. And it brings in so much light. One of the interesting things about this place too is it's really roomy for Japan standards. So houses are tend to be a lot smaller, but this is a big four bedroom house. So a great kitchen design tip is to have great lighting. So as you can see with this kitchen, there's plenty of kitchen lighting. You have all these great spot track lights and you have this big overhanging fluorescent light. It gives it plenty of lighting that you need, plus you have great lighting coming through the window. So we think this place can make about $1,000 a night. And this place sleeps comfortably about eight people. So when you think about it, $125 per head is completely reasonable when you consider now, this is in a very high-end luxury area like Ginza. I really love this living area. And one of the cool things that I really like is it's all connected through the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen's wide open. So if you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and your guests are in the living room, you're all connected together. So there's no separation. I love the open space of this place. Before we go check out the third floor, let's go check out the bathroom. By the way, I really love these stairs. I'll tell you why in a bit. I really like the nice touch of these doors. Really nice, sleek, modern design. I like what they did with this. Let's go check it out. I really like the sleek, modern, simple bathroom. It's got a really stylish look to it. It's this kind of black and white look. And in this shower room, um, you have a very cool, stylistic black tub. And then this big shower area um, where you can take a shower and Look at yourself in the mirror. So one of the cool things about this place is this has a garage. Most of the places in Tokyo, you don't get a garage. You're lucky to even have parking. So this is a huge bonus. So this is the entrance to the house from the first floor and there's two bedrooms in here. And here through this bedroom, you can access the garage all the way to that bedroom. So this house was bought for approximately $1.5 million. The interesting thing is this building is sitting on a commercial lot and that commercial lot is worth approximately $1.5 million. So that means this beautifully designed building was pretty much a bonus. The owners thought it was such a great deal. They bought it sight and seen. I really like the design of these hanging stairs. They're very modern, sleek, minimalistic, but what's really cool about it is it makes the place feel a lot more spacious. So let's go up to the third floor and check out the rooms. So we're here on the third floor and there's two spacious bedrooms. But the interesting thing about these bedrooms is one side of the wall is encased by windows from ceiling to floor. And the cool thing is you have this big natural skylight that brings in tons of lights. And with the window, it brings natural lights into the bedrooms as well. So the owners here want to turn this place into an Airbnb business. In Japan, in Tokyo, the Minpaku regulation, which is another word for Airbnb, only allows for people to run it for up to 180 days. But this is even more interesting because we're in Ginza, and Ginza's municipality is much more stringent. They only allow for short-term rentals for the weekends. Because of that, there's basically no competitors around the area. So that's pretty much eliminated most of the competition. So this is what they're gonna do to make their hotel business work. They're gonna need to obtain a hotel license. And in order to get a hotel license, you're gonna need to upgrade some of the infrastructure and renovations to meet hotel building codes and standards. So one example of getting this up to hotel standards is they're going to need to change the entire glass windows to make sure they're all fireproof. So you can see there's a lot of glass work that needs to be done. They're estimating this is going to cost approximately $60,000 of upgrades and renovations. On top of that, they're going to spend about ten dollars to $20,000 of furnishing. So this is going to cost at least another seventy dollars to $80,000 of additional investment to get this Airbnb business working. So this is a very unusual little terrace on the side of the bedroom. 
I'm not really sure what you would use this for. Maybe put a little desk here. So we estimate this place can get approximately 60% occupancy. This should make approximately $220,000 per year. But after net of expenses, this place should return approximately 10% return on investment or net yield. So we've been shooting the entire video with no electricity and no lights. And they finally got the electricity on and the lights on. And you could see it, the place looks completely different. It looks great. To continue what I was saying, a uh, 10% net yield, another way to look at that is your cap rate. To get a double digit cap rate to run an Airbnb, it's pretty good. But what makes it even better is we're talking about a very desired luxury high-end location and a property that you as an owner would probably love to have as in your portfolio because you're probably gonna wanna come back and use this place too. So for me, if I had the opportunity to buy this, I probably would have done the same thing. I want to give a special thanks to Steve Huang who works with Property Access and they're the guys who put this deal together and they shared a lot of expertise about this and they're going to be showing us a lot of properties going forward. So we're really excited to work with them. If you want any more information, make sure you DM me or email me. Guys, if you like this video, comment and let me know if you would buy this place for 1.5 million. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.